Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, let's talk about movies. This is my July end of month haul. We're gonna look at everything I picked up throughout the month of July, of course, in this video. We're gonna look at 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, and some miscellaneous items as well. Check out the timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a certain format to see what I picked up. They are down in the description below. Let's look at the new 4K arrivals to the collection. So first new 4K arrival was the kind of big, I think it was 60th anniversary 4K box set collector's edition of Breathless. I did unbox it on the channel if you want to check that out and see what's inside of it. There is like a vinyl soundtrack and stuff, 4K, the Blu-rays and postcards, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, John Luke Goddard's movie here. I have not seen it yet, didn't get a chance to watch it, but looking forward to checking it out. And you guys know I always love a big oversized box set for the shelves here behind me. Another new 4K arrival to the collection guys was Almost Famous which I did review on the channel as well. I love this movie, fantastic stuff. 4K looks great, highly recommend. If you want to know more about the transfer and the bonus features and all that sort of thing featured on Almost Famous, do check out my review of that one. And the last 4K arrival throughout the month was of course the Arrow video of True Romance here in the hardcover. I got the Zabby exclusive steelbook. So we have Alabama on the front there and we have Clarence on the back there. Really awesome. I did do a 4K review of True Romance. I've seen a lot of videos where they're talking about unboxing the thing and how good it looks. But I did a type of different video guys where I talked about how this Arrow 4K compares to the previous Warner Brothers Blu-ray release and how that compares to the previous Warner Brothers DVD release. So I highly recommend checking that video out if you want to know more about 4K, how True Romance looks and is it worth upgrading from your previous editions. Let's pause real quick. Here guys, I wanna let you know about my Patreon and YouTube membership accounts. The links are always in the description below. These names on screen right here are the faithful members who get to see exclusive content not featured here in the main channel each and every week for only one euro per month, guys. There is hours and hours and hours of bonus content, my complete collection videos, lots of other stuff, as I said, that's not featured here in the main channel. If you want to sign up to that, check out the links in the description. Let's get back to this haul video. So first one up to the Blu-ray collection throughout the month was Only Angels Have Wings, this Criterion uh, edition here. I added this into the collection for my A to Z movie challenge video. I'll link that in the top corner if you wanna check it out. I needed a movie beginning with O that I hadn't seen before. So I picked this up out of work. I will admit this was not for me this one, but I have kept it in the collection Criterion and maybe might enjoy it on a future watch. Next Blu-ray one up guys was the Indicator limited edition release of Irreversible here. I have taken the J card off of this. Um, so there you guys go. The Gaspar No movie uh, from 2002, I believe it was. Yeah, Monica Bellucci is in there and um, oh my God, I'm blanking. Uh, Vincent Cassell is in there. And um, this was the limited, the hard, box with the poster and the booklet and all that good stuff this was sitting in work in the shop for the longest time nobody had picked it up a couple of customers were talking about it throughout the week course of a week and I thought you know what I think I'll pick this one up it's the last one and um, really really horrible movie to watch but really interesting in how it was made and everything's in reverse so um, I don't know that I could recommend checking it out if you know kind of um, sexual assault and sexual violence is not something you want to see in a movie and um, because if it isn't then do not watch this movie but otherwise um, yeah this was a really uh, interesting movie and how it was made irreversible. Next one up, guys, was a Blu-ray steelbook. Again, I grabbed this out of work. This is Atomic Blonde. I really love the steelbook, the artwork and the color here. I love the back with Charlie's on there. And uh, inside we have some uh, digital things on the disc. Um, I had seen this movie before and I thought it was badass. There's a great 80s soundtrack to it. Charlie's is awesome in there. And um, yeah, I just wanted to grab it and the steelbook looked cool. So that was a good one to add to the collection. Next one up was uh, added into the collection. It's the Shameless um, edition of Viva. It has this slip cover here. And uh, this came recommended by somebody out of work. He said like, this is, um, it's the, oh my God, the actress out of uh, Love Witch, I think it is. So um, I'm not, I have one or two Shameless in the collection. So uh, I just kind of thought, you know what, I'll grab this and they have the, you know, the spine number and stuff. This is number 17. Um, I have not watched this yet, but uh, looks like it might be a good time. Viva was the next one up. 
So speaking of Shameless, I decided to grab their number one spine, uh, New York Ripper, the Lucio Fulci movie, and the horror movie slasher, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did watch this, I will say, um, I spoke about it recently and I watched this video. Uh, I wasn't a big lover of it, but because, you know, I think I said in that video, it's number one in the spine. Um, I think I'll keep a hold of it. I love these yellow, kind of, you know, <laughs> yellow. I love the yellow Shameless artwork and the cases and stuff. They look really cool on the shelves. So I will hold on to this and maybe give it a watch again. I might be in the mood for it then. Next one up guys, I did also review on the channel. It is the Plumeria Pictures release of sneakers. So they have these really nice uh, minimalist slip covers here. So too many secrets. And then we have the back, the voice is my passport. And then when we take the Blu-ray out, there is the original cover. This is a brilliant 90s movie, hackers and stuff like that. It's really awesome. I love this, what a cast. Uh, Robert Redford, Dan Aykroyd, River Phoenix, Sidney Poitier, James Earl Jones is in there as well. Um, it's really, really cool. Highly recommend. A lot of people have never heard of this and I really do recommend checking it out. Check out my review video if you want to know more about this one. Next one up, I decided to grab a Eureka release of the 80s uh, horror sci-fi movie, Night of the Creeps. I've never seen this one. Um, I just started watching it last night, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. Of course, Tom Atkins is in there, you know, Tom Atkins from every 80s movie ever. So um, yeah, looking forward to finishing this one off and let you guys know what I think on a future watch list video. But uh, Night of the Creeps was the next one up. Next movie was a review copy sent by Umbrella Entertainment. I have done it, uh, covered it in a review fest video. The uh, crocodile horror movie Black Water, based on true events. Really, really cool, interesting kind of thing here. Uh, Blu-ray looks good. Um, Want to know more? Again, guys, check out that video and that review fest, and you will find out more about Black Water. Next one up again was a review movie from Signature Entertainment based in the UK. This uh, horror stalker kind of one alone, really interesting. I thought it was really good. Um, this woman, you know, her husband has passed away. She's driving up north to move to somewhere completely new. And this guy kind of starts stalking her along the road and kind of captured her and it captures her. And then she's trying to escape from him. That's basically the premise of this movie. Really interesting. Once again, I did cover this in that review fest video. So do check that out if you want to know more. Last Blu-ray pickup, guys, this month was the 101 Films Black Label of Hell Knight, the 1981 uh, horror movie, yeah, starring Linda Blair. Really cool. I did, again, only review this on the channel last week, so check out my full review of Hell Knight if you want to know more what's included. Jam-packed full of bonus features. Uh, highly recommend picking this one up for your horror collection. If you're a fan of 80s horror or Linda Blair, this is a good one to have in your Blu-ray collection. Okay guys, so we have a massive pile of DVDs that I added to the collection this month. Patreon and YouTube membership account members. You guys will have seen all of these in a recent kind of haul that I spoke about. I got all these for nothing off a friend of mine in work. He was kind of purging his DVD collection and decided to part ways with a bunch of old movies. So um, a lot of these I haven't seen before and I've yet to check them out, but here we go. First one up is Feast Unrated. Looks like a horror movie, uh, region one. You guys know I love a good horror, so looking forward to checking this one out whenever I get a chance. Next one up is the first Grudge movie, Sarah Michelle Gellar. I haven't seen this in years, guys. And um, yeah, cool one to add to the collection. I don't mind adding DVD to the collection. Better to have the movie on some sort of format than not have it at all. Next one up another horror guys is the first Jeepers Creepers movie which I did actually review on Blu-ray a good while back but I didn't get an actual proper copy of it so uh, you know cool one to have in the collection Jeepers Creepers. Next one up, the Robert Zemeckis directed What Lies Beneath, Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. I had never seen this before ever, guys. I spoke about it in the A to Z Movie Challenge video. Really cool, uh, creepy horror thriller one. Um, yeah, Harrison Ford, really interesting in this one. Really cool, check it out. Next one looks like a funny kind of stoner movie, How High, Method Man and Red Man. I, I know nothing about this, guys, so looking forward to checking this one out whenever I get a chance in the mood for a comedy one. Next one here is a Region 2 Special Edition. You know, as much as I loved this film when I was younger, I actually never had it in the collection. It, this is Speed. I know it's gotten a Blu-ray or sort of 4K or something recently, but um, two disc a blue or two disc DVD, I should say, uh, good enough in the collection for me right now until I decide to upgrade. Um, big fan of Sandra Bullock when I was younger and have not seen this in years. So looking forward to revisiting Speed and see what I think of that one. Next one up is a Region 1 import, guys. Uh, Robin Williams, Jeff Bridges, The Fisher King. I absolutely know nothing about this movie um, at all. So it uh, will be interesting to see what I think on a first time watch of this one. 
Next one up looks like another kind of stoner comedy, Dave Chappelle in Half Baked. I know this recently did get a Blu-ray release internationally, but uh, you know, once again, looking forward to checking out this comedy one on DVD once I get a chance. This next one up I've heard good things about, Norm Macdonald, Dave Chappelle and Danny DeVito in Screwed. I've never seen this one before, so once again, I am looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, by all accounts, I've heard this is a good one worth having in the collection. Next one up guys, another region one import it looks like, special edition Jean Reno Vincent Cancel, The Crimson Rivers, I know nothing about this one, the back says something about serial killer investigation, sounds like it's right up my street so you will hear from me once I check this one out on a future video. Next one up look like it's uh, some of these are ex uh, video DVD rental stores so this one is uh, Touching the Void, the documentary I think isn't it? Um, so yeah, you know, I look at a good documentary, kind of sounds interesting. So I'll check this one out once again, and I will talk to you guys once I watch it and let you know what I think. Next one here, guys. Um, I don't know anything about this. The cast kind of struck me as kind of interesting on this one. Uh, Amy Brenneman, Aaron Eckhart, Catherine Keener, Natasha Kinski, Jason Patrick, and Ben Stiller, your friends and neighbors. Um, I don't know anything about this at all. Once again, it was in that DVD haul. So yeah, look forward to checking this one out and see what I think of this one. Next one up here guys, a Tim Burton movie. This is, uh, my God, I'm completely blanking. Helen the Bottom character is in this and uh, Danny DeVito's in here. Isn't uh, Ewan McGregor? Yes, Ewan McGregor, big fish. I remember running this on 35 mil years ago, like 05, 04 it was, it got released. Never saw it, so we'll look forward to checking out big fish when I get a chance as well. One I'm really looking forward to checking out guys is uh, Bill Paxton Frailty. I've never seen this, um, I guess kind of a horror thriller kind of a feel to it. Um, McConaughey's in there, I'm not a big fan of him, but you know, we'll let that slide and uh, hopefully Frailty is as good as I've heard it is and kind of built it up in my mind. So once again, I uh, yeah, really look forward to checking this one out of all these DVDs. Another ex-rental one here guys, the best Western since Unforgiven, uh, The Proposition. Never heard of this one at all. Uh, Guy Pearce, Ray Winston, Danny Houston, John Hort, uh, Dave Winneman and Emily Watson. Um, you know, jump in the comments guys if you've seen this one, let me know what you think. Uh, I really enjoyed Unforgiven, so um, we'll see what I think of this one. Next one uh, was an uncensored director's cut. Now this is a region one of Spun. I really liked this movie. I had a ver I have a version of this myself and I just kind of thought, you know, I'll keep this other director's cut version and see if there's what sort of differences there is between the two, the region one and the region two. Uh, once again, when I check it out, I will see. And um, if they're the same, I'll let one of them go out of the collection. Next two, we're going to go together. Um, Babel, Babel, whatever that one is, with uh, Brad Pitt in there. Um, I remember running it, never never got to see it. There's uh, Kate Blanchett's in there, Gail, Ber Gail Garcia Bernal as well. Um, and an unrated region one version of Pat Anderson Lee in Barb Wire. I have never seen this movie, I've seen pieces of it. So uh, maybe we'll talk about this on a future video, but uh, next two up here in the DVD editions. Another two here guys, this one looks like a horror movie, Dem. Um, once again, never heard uh, about this one at all. So um, be interesting to check out. And uh, another one, Kubrick Classic here, Spartacus, never never have it near it, saw it. Uh, Kirk Douglas is in there. Lawrence Olivier, Gene Simmons, yeah. Never ever saw Tony Cortes is in there in the role as well. Um, looking forward to checking these out as well once I get a chance. Second last one here guys, I think this is a kind of a cult classic John Borman movie, Sean Connery Zardoz. <laughs> that, that movie here, I've never seen it. I know I've seen pictures of Sean Connery in this one. So once again, this will be an interesting one to check out once I do watch it. Last one here in the DVD editions, guys. Um, I think this is a region one. Uh, Jennifer Tilly, Gina Dershon, Bound. Um, I haven't seen this in years if I have seen it. I've seen pieces of it, um, if I recall correctly, but maybe never the whole thing. But once again, it'd be an interesting one to check out and watch once I do get a chance. So to wrap things up here for this July end of month haul, I just have a couple of miscellaneous items. I did pick up the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the novel, the book here. Um, I'm about two chapters in, guys. I'm trying to read it and it's just been, um, one of those kind of slow reads for me. I stick it in my bag, I bring it into work some days, I get to read it some days I don't. Um, 
so uh, should be interesting I've heard like mixed reviews on it but um, I heard it's uh, I think it's got to be quite good uh, once I do get a chance to finish it that was another uh, addition to the collection and last but not least uh, I got two vinyl uh, in, in this haul to show you guys I got the uh, Pulp Fiction soundtrack here um, I actually spotted it in Tesco um, cheap and just kind of thought you know I'll grab it it's on black vinyl not special and uh, record store day I picked up the uh, thanks to my friend Ray I got the Pearl Jam Alive reissue here and um, it's kind of hard to see there is an etching on the other side of this vinyl I'm not going to take it out guys and um, they were kind of the last two uh, additions to the collection here throughout July as always I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel watching the videos clicking thumbs up give it a like comment down below um, that was a lot of stuff guys let me know have you seen any of these things especially stuff I haven't seen jump in the comments and let me know what you think it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on those lots of those DVDs and stuff that I got that I haven't watched yet and um, patreon YouTube membership links in the description t-shirt store link is in the description all that sort of ways to support the movie vault check out those links in the description subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching guys stay safe and I'll see you on the next one